Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back on, well, actually, we've never played this guy um, in a video. <laughs> this is Flipsides, he's my 51 rogue, and we're going to do a walkthrough of City of Mist. So, let's go ahead and just get started. I have so on, so this should be a little bit faster, though I just lost my DMF, so I won't be able to show you the very last island in the zone but it won't matter it's uh it's pretty self-explanatory so as you'll come in here this is a good zone for level 40 plus all the way up to 60 on the second and third floor this is the stables this is on of course the left side as you can tell and um the reason it's called the stables is because there are four souls here there's mobs that also spawn in there on this side as well as up top, one mob on each door. Let me see if he can see me. <laughs> anyway, the rest of this, uh, this camp is one mob that spawns in here, two mobs spawn in this door, and three mobs spawn in this last door. So it's a pretty easy camp. Uh, also, whenever you run out of mobs, people will come out here and they will kill the vapor golem or the haze, vapor, whatever kind of golem is up. So you have two on here on each side. You have one in the back there on each corner. You also have one that will spawn right next to these poles here. So it's a good amount of mobs that you can pull from, and it's really pretty good experience. Then over here is the temple. This is actually how you would get over to the second floor. And um, we're going to uh, just see here. So there's a mob that spawns over where the shaman is. There are two mobs that spawn up next to the water there, like that one. You have one that's going to spawn right up here under this tapestry, and then one under the tapestry on the other side. Then you'll go in, and there'll be three mobs on uh, the center section here. Two mobs in each door, and uh, that's pretty much the temple except for the top floor, which is going to be two undead, but he is fighting them at the moment. So there's that. Now, if you want to get to the second floor this way, which is, I mean, 90% of the way that people get up there because they're not rogues, uh, you just get up here, get really close to this, and then you levitate over to that platform. Another way to do it is if you actually have the, um, if you have so on, you can run across and jump over to that banner and get up to the second floor. But that's not how we're going to do it because, of course, I can't take off my invis. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next area, which is the arena. So the way the zone works is this is the first stage. Then you have the second stage. The arena is a little bit higher because of the fact that there are these, um, these oh, I can't remember what they're called. They're goos, I guess you would call them. There's... I believe a total of five goos that spawn in here, one in the center, two on each side, and then you have, I think, another f four mobs, two on that side, two on this side. Then these are also part of the camp, which has two goos in the middle, two goos in the middle of that side, and then in here, you have to be careful. You don't want to cast any AoEs. You don't want the mobs casting any AoEs. But you have one on each side of this guy. And this guy is for the Shadow Knight epic. So be careful. <laughs> you don't want him to harm touch you. And then the last stage, this is the moat. This is where you're going to get the most experience. And this is also where you pull most of your Black Reavers to. Just because of the fact that it's very easy to pull to there. Um, you can pull them safely if you know what you're doing. And usually the other group will um, will understand what you're doing. If you say, watch out, Black Reaver's coming. They usually will uh, wait on their pulling for, <laughs> for just a moment. 
So the place that most people pull to is the left side over here. And then the people who are killing for the Shaman Epic, for just for loots, the Black Reavers will pull to here. Most times you'll have them push into this corner. If you don't do that, if you want to do the full cycle of Reavers, then you bring a rogue like myself. Let's go ahead and turn off the HUD. We're going to go into our special box here and get our mechanized locks. By the way, I am 201 into pick locks and welcome to hell. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, there are a lot of mobs here. Um, this is why a lot of people die whenever they get close to this door. If you get even right up against the door, you will pull this mob or this mob, and then they'll pull all of these. So the Black Reaver, he's actually not very high level. I can go ahead and click him and con him, and he's blue to me at 51. I believe he's around 48. So even though, um, just to give you an idea from a cleric's perspective of how much damage he does, you probably need to complete heal once every round or two rounds. And that is because the Black Reavers, whenever they die, they spawn another Black Reaver until the cycle is completely over or a name has spawned. So it can be a, a fun fight. I've seen up to eight spawns, <laughs> which is taxing, uh, but is very, very well worth it. So this whole, uh, both sides lead to the second floor, but we're going to go on to here and you'll notice that it requires a key. So we'll go ahead and go up. Hey, buddy. Didn't know you wanted to take this um, <laughs> this elevator. All right. So once we get up here, this is Black Reaver Heaven. If, if you have never been here before. By the way, Black Reavers, I believe their spawn time is about two hours. Maybe longer. But you have a Black Reaver here and then four Black Reavers in this room. And there's... Um, I don't remember what that axe is, but it's a thing. So yeah, this is, this is the primary Black Reavers, and then you have one last one up top. So let's go ahead and head that way. So once you get, uh, most people, the way they pull these, or pull that one specifically, they usually don't go to the second floor, is they'll just come up to here and um, just open the door and lull everything they can. Best to have a ranger just to uh, do harmony. And um, that's usually how they pull them. They pull them back over to this corner and they will usually fight into this corner. This is the way I've seen it done as a cleric. Also have done it on my rogue, which I thought was hilarious just because of the fact that I had the ability to open the doors. <laughs> So, up here is where a lot of people are familiar with, because this is the actual second floor. You'll have a lot of enchanters, necromancers, shaman, clerics up here doing. Sometimes you'll see warriors and whatnot as well. But, uh, yeah, it's a very, very good experience. You have more mobs than you can handle. And, uh, yeah, so you'll come out to here. You'll see this is the primary location people pull to. Uh, you'll have the necromancers actually charming pets. Main thing is, is that you want to have people, uh, if you have a cleric, uh, or if you're going to be uh, here for a while, you bind right up on top of there. That is the best bind spot. And then once you die, <laughs> you can come right over, drag your corpses up to the temple, and uh, actually, that's not the temple. That's the top of the arena. And then that's where you'd res. You have doors all over. The only named that I know is up in this area is the human skeleton. But I don't know where that spawns. I, I believe it's just a random spawn. That's for the enchanter, I believe. So now we're going to go to the second, the third floor. Sorry. Um, right here, once you open this door, is a double-layered wall. And then you come to my most frightening part of the zone. I cannot stand that this is see-through. If it was not see-through, I would have absolutely no problem with it. But uh, I am afraid of heights. <laughs> and this thing 
likes to test those limits. So yeah, uh, it's not that bad though. So one thing that you need to know about this floor is whenever you're getting next to one of these rooms, you do not want to touch these walls. You don't want to touch them. Uh, mostly here, you don't want to touch them. But uh, yeah, you're pretty much wanting to stay away from these walls at all because it will pull the mobs inside. So in here, you have one mob that stands right next to here. You have a mob that stands right on top of here. You have a roamer, two mobs down here, and then out. By the way, these don't require keys. I think a lot of people think they do because of the stories that they're told about not going next to these doors. So, uh, or next to the walls, rather. And, uh, yeah, so... You'll see, there's a cleric and an enchanter duoing. That's your normal uh, thing. One of the things I really like about this zone is just watching the slimes in their element. <laughs> because whenever they start walking, it is the weirdest thing. And I'll, I'll just stand there and watch them for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, so this is another uh, weird point for a lot of people. Of course, people don't normally go into these rooms. So what you do is you'd levitate up and you would go cross over to that side and then continue on. Uh, and the way you do that, and I'm not going to do it right now <laughs> because I don't want to fall off, is you would get on top of here and you would then stand on that and then you'd ride the wall around. But because we have keys, we're going to go through and see what's on the inside. Now, there's a pillar, or not a pillar, but a stand here where there's always two mobs. You have one there always, and then you have a roamer. And uh, there he is, right there. <laughs> and I don't think we need a key for this, but I'm going to use it anyway, just in case. And then this long stretch here, I mean, this is why this zone is known for allowing you to go to level 60s, because it has a lot of mobs. These mobs are more geared towards your 55 plus characters, but you can come up here earlier than that, of course. And then lastly, you have this island, which I cannot make that jump, I don't believe, with, with um, Sneak Hide on. I could try to make it. Uh, but if I fail, I'm going to pull all these mobs down to the uh, zone line and kill that cleric and enchanter. And I don't want to do that. But anyway, inside of this door is a black reaver. And that's pretty much it. You'll have one that roams on the outside and one that roams on the inside with the black reaver. But, uh, yeah, let me, let me try it. Let me, <laughs> let me see if I can uh get this i mean i think all of this is blue to me so i can handle the hits i just don't want to die i don't want to kill other people is mainly the point all right he is there he will see me can try to make the jump <laughs> yeah it's not happening but anyway <laughs> that is city of mist and whenever you fall down here you're just falling down between the moat and the uh the arena so hopefully you enjoyed if you have any questions any other zones you want me to do i will be on that i i already have uh guck top and lower in my list i also have uh Kesora and some others if you would like me to change the way that i'm doing the walkthrough let me know but anyway guys this is cypher deck peace out